Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode, episode 5, of our playthrough of Tyranny. We are starting our little area here, the farmer's camp. And I'm not sure if maybe I attacked from the wrong direction and got attacked by more than one group, or if I simply did it incorrectly, but man, there was a whole bunch of them last fight, so let's try something a little different this time. I'm going to be more aggressive with my main hero and have, try to keep the other ones back a little bit more. I got it. So I've got my different heroes ready, and they're all kind of... Ready to go. Oh, we're gonna be talking, so I have to either go there, you, you go there, see what happens. Reinforcements finally come this way. We need to. Sister Verse? What did I do to deserve such a helping hand? The fifth eye has a sense of humor sending you. I'm actually not gonna read this all again because I did in the previous episode. So we do have something we can loot. All right, we're gonna go a different route this time. I'll be your and shadow. And we're gonna sneak. So by using the stealth button on the left here, or by pushing Alt on the keyboard, we can go into a stealth mode, which is based off of our. Uh, subterfuge skill, and it allows us a better chance of sneaking up on enemies. See, yeah, they're just kind of. Oh, here's another group. See that? Ah, I see it. Alright, grab the axe. Right. Party time. I'm going to send her the first one I can find. I'll have her flaming arrow on the way in. Maybe I need to use her more as a ranged attacker. So she's got two stances, red geyser, which is negative 10 to dodge but adds bonus damage, or three whispers, which adds extra dodge. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let's see, if I pull out the bow, then I can put her in seek shilth, seeking sheath, which is plus 10 to accuracy. So she can use a bow, which will keep her back a little bit and allow her to use some attacks. And then my hero can get in close and attack, go for the Sunder. And he can heal himself. Or it's maybe because he's wounded, yeah. So he's gonna actually just focus on buffing. And if I cast it here, I think I can catch them as they're running. Alright, let's do this. Not happening. <laughs> Have him attack from far away while my hero stays up close. Nice. Trap detected. Yeah, this seems to be worth it. Having them stay back like that. Now I can use my ability. Nice. A lot of that was good. 
good stuff. Alright, let's go back into our stealth stance. And she seems to have you the highest it. subterfuge, so have her disarm. Noise, plus one subterfuge in two different people. I'll take it. So yeah, I have a different formation. Let's see here. I have my character Malaise in the front, and then I'll have her uh, in the back left, and I'll have him in the back right, and she's going to be an archer character. I'm gonna have him. Well, actually. What are you trying to tell me? Use your words! I'm going to lead the way with. First, casting Titan's Touch on him to make him tougher and stronger. Then, I'm gonna cast Greater Renewal to make everyone's armor more effective. And then, I'm gonna have him go in and do a Sunder on the first attacker. And I'm gonna have her do a Fire Arrow on this one in the back. And I'm gonna have him casts an attack on the first one as well. Well, actually, you could probably just dart him. Right. All right, here we go. Oh, wow, he teleported. All right, so I have to engage him because if I try to run away, he's going to get a big bonus. So I want her to... Yeah, so she's got her weapon out. I want her to shoot this one in the back. He's going to stay here. He's going to fight. Actually, yeah, I'm going to go for the knockdown first. And once he's knocked down, I'm going to run safely. Ah, too late. So, time to get out of there. Huh. If I yeah, see, he keeps getting disengagement bonuses on me. Bad kid! They be feeling... He to die. This is so dumb. I'll take care. So yeah, now she needs to pull out her sword and she needs to kill these guys that are on my hero. And same thing with him. Yeah. Do something. You see, there's nothing really he can do from here because he's just gonna get. He's about to die. Polly. I'll spill your guts. <laughs> and if I break away, he's gonna get a disengagement. So I need to attack these two. Attack! Attack! I'm gonna try to false pit her to right. knock her down. Yeah. He's dead. I feel. Get out of there. Well, now she's stuck fighting. Attack. He's almost dead. Kill him. Now I gotta get him from behind. See if this will connect. Do a normal attack on this one. Will do. I need to get a lot better about my engagements. If once they start running around like that, on it. Yeah, and she's about to die. Now it's me versus him. Yeah, not much I can do. <laughs> Go for this curse. Will do. And then 
go for the attack. Will do. She's got one more swing left in her. <laughs> no, she died. Got dark all of a sudden. Now it's done. <laughs> can't seem to get them to attack me instead of just running past to where my bad guys are. And now they're both wounded, so I'm gonna have to repair them. Or let them rest, I should say. Yay, subterfuge. On it. Actually, turn off the AI for these heroes. I don't want them to do anything because they just be running Curious. around. Curious. It's interesting because in this game you get a thing, a uh, disengagement attack. So if you start attacking someone, or you're currently attacking someone, and you run away or break away to disengage or move or something, the enemy gets a free attack, and it's a powerful one too. I need to rest before I go in here. Alright, I'm also gonna save just in case. Alright, so I'm going to try attacking again since I have a save. I'm going to leave my character here to attack. I'm going to run backwards with my other two heroes to hopefully not get surrounded. Alright, I'm going to fall back a little bit with these two. I'm going to have my character uh, knock him or reduce his spells with the first attack. And then I'm going to hit him with a dart to start with. And I'm going to have her attack him. With a fire arrow. Alright, that's a good Sorry, start. can't do that. It's burning. Yeah, see? Now here they come from behind. So now I'm going to have her switch to her sword. And immediately turn and go for the one behind her. And then I'm going to have him cast the buff on us right here. And I'm gonna keep attacking and hopefully knocking this guy down. Will do. See, what is she doing? Why is she running in like that? I want her to attack him. Okay, so she he teleported. That's fine. Now she can run back and get the archer. I'm feeling so great. All right, now I can cast my heal on myself. He can cast his attack on this person in front of him. Actually, kill the archer. Ah! Casting my heal. Casting my heal on him. She's continuing to attack the AI in the back. That's doing so something every day. Alright. Now to do quicken. And then attack this guy. He's rapidly losing health. Ah! Ah! Oh, knocked him down. Big hit. Take that! Come on, kill this guy. Say, he's taking so much damage. And he never even casted that quicken like I asked him to. So he drank the healing potion, and now I'm trying to use the quicken skill. And now I can hopefully kill this guy. On it. This girl in the back is not doing anything. She's supposed to be attacking. Why is she not attacking? Kill him. I right, know this guy needs to kill him, and I need to turn and kill him too. He needs to heal himself. 
Alright, so I'll use the spear attack on this guy instead. Consider it done. Why is she not attacking? This is so frustrating. Ah! I'm not filled for this sort of violence. Hit him! Ah! She's just standing there. So Do I'm dead. Feel She's literally doing nothing. Famed. Feels like my blood is on fire. <laughs> Seeing an awful lot of yeah, got dark all of a sudden. I had it. I had it. But for some reason she just stood there the entire time and didn't attack the other. So I'm gonna go ahead and load it back again and try it. This is getting very frustrating. Alright, I've already rested, I believe, right? Yep, no more wounds. Alright, so here's the plan. I'm gonna move even further ahead. Did I do the custom formation yet? Yeah. I'm gonna move even further ahead and have them go back and engage the targets behind it. Alright, combat starts. He can charge straight forward because he's gonna be f just fine. Sunder the enemy. You pull out your two handed weapon, go crazy, and run back that way. You cast your buff on him to make him tougher. Heads up, we have company. And then attack him with your spear. Use your attack, just normal thrust attack. She's almost at her location. There she is. Attack this girl. Well, attack the guy in the back with your fire arrow first. Jeez. Fine. Okay, well, she can attack this one instead. The healer can turn and heal her first. Mike can keep attacking. He can use his curse to reduce the damage that he's taking. Okay, she got healed. Now he can attack this character in the front. Okay, he can use this spell. Nice, okay, so now she's dying, but she's doing some actual damage this time. Healing potion. And try to knock down. She did it, nice. Now attack. Attack. Nice. Couple more hits. Fire arrow on this target. Uh, use your spear attack too. My character will use this heal. You got it. She got interrupted. Yep. And she died, but she got the spell off first. So now we can use the knockdown. Oh, it's not a knockdown, it's a buff. Alright, so I'm gonna have him attack this character. She got the fire. At one. Missed. It's alright. Alright, I'm gonna use my Sender ability. My character's gonna attack. I'm gonna have him use his heal. <laughs> Dead. Alright, I'm gonna go after this character here. Oh, this character's moving to melee. Works for me. Immediately cast the debuff as she runs in. My character's gonna finish this one off. Almost dead. Cast heal on yourself. As your command. Alright, he's debuffed. Use a thrust to attack. Attack! Nice, okay. Now run down here. So he's gonna run down and use Quicken. 
You attack. Will do. He's not I not got it. it. Use your quicken. Get closer. Use quicken. Ready? There we go. <laughs> Heal. Nice. Get back. Heal yourself. Cast the buff that makes us both stronger. Throw a spear. Almost done. Alright, time to go in wild. Reduce the damage of this character. Try to knock him down. Consider it done. Thrust. Right. Sender. On it. Attack. Heal. I can't I'm move. Rooted. Nice. I'm trapped in place. As Face you come out. As you come out. Oh man. What was that? Three attempts. This game is tough, but I like it. I do like it. You got it. What is this? Broken stuff. Elemental barrier potion. All right, let's go into stealth well, stance. What do we have here? Oh, yep, yeah, we should be able to detect things better. There we go. Let's open that. Ooh, there's stuff. All right, let's go over here and then we'll look at it. Oh, Just insects flutter around and land on a few pieces of rotten vegetables interspersed with the fruit. So let's open that up and we get a sigil of frostfire. Nice. All right, let's see what we got. A studded iron gorget, which gives parrying. Okay, I'll take that. And a one-handed hammer. It gives praying bonus five point percent, a half percent bonus damage for every one percent missing health. Huh. Well, that's a one-hander, and it's better than the one I have. No one else needs a one-handed hammer axe right now, so. We'll just save it, just in case. Now oh, you can read this sigil. Frost and fire combined. <laughs> so... Oh, he leveled up. So, I definitely think he's doing really well with his spell strength and his magic defense, but he could use some bonus health. Yeah, he could use some bonus health. My character leveled up also, and he's really strong as is. Um, I like the spell strength and magic defense. Because there's no real mana bar, per se. No, I'm going to go with accuracy and armor deflection. Alright. Now for skills. I get this next point in leadership. Taunts nearby enemies every few seconds while this stance is active. Yes, please. And Lantry gets a point as well. So he can... Ooh, second breath. He revives a fallen comrade. Yep, get that. So we can do spells now. Didn't we get a frost fire? We have to find it maybe first. Oh well. Says he still needs to level up. 
He spent his point. He spent his talent. Oh, he has a level up bonus, huh? I don't think we need to hide anymore. That looks like there's something down here, though. I got it. Oh wow. Okay. So this was like a trap, I guess. Alright, my character is gonna go in go in hot. And he's gonna use the buff to reduce the damage of the first person. He's going to use his buff spell to hit my character. And the archer is gonna shoot some fire arrows into the first target. I got it. And she's gonna start shooting. And he's gonna attack right there with a sunder. And then he's gonna attack with a quill. Oh, the fire. Oh wow, my character is taking a beating. I'm gonna use my healing spell, and he's gonna use Quicken. And she's gonna continue to shoot this person who's about to die. Use this! Use the healing spell! Use your healing spell on him! And he's down. Wow, they did so much damage so quickly. Get him back up immediately. I'll take care of it. One down. Now focus on this one. They should do the trick. Get him back up. Alright, now quicken. And you attack. Nice. Now do yourself heal. You heal yourself. You start shooting. Get over there. Knock him down. On it. Nice. Now heal yourself. You knock down the archer. Nice. Now Quill. Fire on the back. My hero attack is gonna use his healing ability. How it's done. Seeing it all. Alright, now he's gonna attack. Healer still can't heal. This is no joke. Attack the one in front. A lot of red. Alright, keep going to the hit. Where's your heal when you need it? Kill them! I want them all focused on this one that's about to die. Nice. Go in there and get him. And he go in and shoot you. Fire arrow. Ooh, taking big, big hits here. She died. Got dark all of a sudden. He died. She's about to die. Then. Man, I'm taking so much damage, but I gotta just buy more campfire things. Oh, I didn't know that was a quest update. Oh boy. Let's get the loot. All after that, huh? Well, maybe more. Broken bell. Alright, well. Let's gather up the crew and get out. Dodge.
You killed him? Are you daft? Fifth Eye said we could kill any of them except Florian. I'm just gonna glare at him. Now what do we do? Return to the Fifth Eye empty-handed? You're the one who screwed this up, but I'm the one that'll get flogged for it. Not sure I like the tone of your voice. Not sure I like the tone of your face. Well, I guess it doesn't matter now anyway. I'll have to report this unfortunate turn of events to the voices of Narat in person. Hopefully ridding this wilderness of the Oathbreaker nu nuisance will be enough to save my own face. Now get out of here. Don't you have other fates to bind or something of that sort? So I think I might have a new skill. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Taunts automatically, huh? Doesn't show me what the, the distance is, though. Three meters, it's not bad. The distance on this is four meters, so it's about that far. Can't do that. I really hope I don't get ambushed on the way. I'm gonna go back to the camp. We must rest soon. Yeah. All right. I agree. Well, we're in a safe place. We can rest in a bit. Ooh, loot. You know, what's interesting is that now that I know that those little rings are loot, I didn't. Never noticed that there was all these loot things around here. Including over there, some... Oh! Oh wow, okay. Night Yowl. Claws at throat. Night Yowl was promised worthy, tough prey for joining. But Beast Woman only allows Night Yowl to hunt weakest of humans, save best kills for self. Night Yowl was second strongest of Stonestalker males before joining Scarlet Humans, rutted even with hundred blood, with Tribes Prima, was promised own pack for abandoning tribe mates. Strong Stonestalker? Beastman worth rutting? No. Closet Throat sees only mewling first season cub before Beast Woman now. She's only tenderfoot. Only weak whelp fit to chase injured dying prey, not best fighters on battlefield. Humans. Always are encroaching on beast woman. Have no sense of danger. No recognition for prowling hungry predators. Are worse than sniveling beastmen. Speak quickly, and maybe beast woman will listen. I wager I could take you. Closet throat likes human who is male, yet who is bold enough to challenge Beast Woman. Expected Blunt Claw to be feeble as Night Yell, whimpering at Beast Woman's feet. If Beast Woman did not have Rut Whelp Cur like Night Yell to train, Closet Throat would have happily enjoyed fighting with human. Farewell. That was a pretty weird, uh, intense little talk we had, huh? Alright, so it says there's something else I can loot over here. Sorry, Somewhere. I can't. Oh, there we go. 47! Okay, okay, 47, I get it. Ooh, weapon. Ooh. I 
get something? I gotta make sure I get everything while I'm here, right? Can't do that. Oh, what about her? What about him? No? Okay. Right. Ooh, who's this? Oh, it's part of the horde, huh? Alright, let's see what we got. The Bloodhound's Hood. Plus to accuracy, plus 8% to, to deflection. Hmm. A bronze hammer. What about her? Well, she needs the bow. That's what she needs, because right now I'm doing fine up close. So I need them to stay away and kill stuff. And how's her leather helmet? A lot better, and it gives accuracy. Pretty crazy looking. I like that look on him. So how's the shield? Amazing compared to what I have. Oh, it matches too. Sorry, I can't. It says there's someone else over here. All right, so I'm at the camp. Oh yeah, I need to buy and sell and get some camping supplies. Alright, let's see. Okay, cool. We may have stashed a bit more of what we found off the beaten path. Not all acquirement are as careful with their booty as others. Here, let me mark it on your map. Cool. Let me show your wares. It's not much, but let me know if you see anything that piques your interest. Oh boy. Oh boy. I see all kinds of green stuff. All kinds of scarlet stuff, too. Blood Chanter staff. A ripper. Oh, it's a spear. Hmm. Four campfires, a fire ice stone. Oh, it gives the sigil a fire. Okay, well, I need to sell. Okay, okay. Alright, so I've got a little bit of money. These things are all so expensive. Accuracy of spells. Oh. I like these. Sigil of channeled strength. 
Might as well get all of those. They just add so many benefits. Healing potions I've got plenty of. Jeez. It's got some really good stats. This armor is better than what I have. I like the weapon I have, to be honest, so... I'm gonna go ahead and get... This chest piece, though. I mean, it's only leather, but I can use it and then pass it on. These boots are better also. And the gloves. Alright, so let's do the inventory. Switch to him. Learn. 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 Switch back to him. Put the new armor on. Put the new boots on. Put the new gloves on. See if these are better than hers at all. They're not really better. I'm trying to see if I can split these into smaller groups. Apparently not. I like how the, everything looks in this game. It's pretty awesome. Plus 10 to parry, huh? I'm doing pretty good with this parry skill. Although I've got all these negatives because of the wounds. Let me buy another uh, campfire while I'm here. There we go. And they're not that expensive. Seven? Yeah, buy all of them. Oh, okay, I have the maximum number. Okay, since I have the maximum number, I'm gonna camp. I need to be careful that I don't run out of time, though. Wait, did the loots come back? Weird. Will do. All right, so we're all decked out with some new equipment and everything, and I think it's good time for us to go ahead and end this episode. So thank you to everyone who has been watching this entire time, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.